Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement Google reCAPTCHA version 3 in Laravel 9. Once again I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop so that we can uh, save some time and we can make the implementation of Google reCAPTCHA uh, a bit easy. Okay. So yeah. Let's start with step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project and the name would be reCAPTCHA. I have already created the fresh project right here you can see in the sublime and the name is reCAPTCHA1. Why? Because I am already using reCAPTCHA project for Hindi or two lecture. So that's why. Okay. So let's say if you have Laravel globally installed you can simply use this command so that we are on the same page. If you don't have the uh, Laravel global command you can simply use this command right here. Okay. Uh, if you don't have Laravel globally installed. Okay. Let's move to step number seven which says uh, sorry step number two which says that we need to configure laravel ui in this case we are going to use uh, laravel authentication so that's why we need to implement it okay so step number two uh, part one composer required laravel ui i have i have already implemented this command uh, in this specific project right here okay so yeah i don't need to do that but in your case you have to uh, second part php artisan ui view auth for the authentication scaffolding right here you need to implement that and yeah right now uh, after implementing these commands successfully we will be on the same page so let's start with the part three uh, so i can simply copy this because i have already implemented till right here okay so i'm just going to copy this uh, to run the weed server right here paste just like that okay now let's move to step number three which says that we need to configure database and the migration so let me show you we already have the env and we already have the let's say database na uh, name right here so all we need to do is we need to access another instance of grid bash why because we are going to run our weed server right here okay so yeah let's access my project let's access our project cdc zam ht docs and the name is recapture one okay now what I need to do is I need to run the migration so php artisan migrate and I'm feeling a bit lazy so I'm going to create a database uh, right here using uh, git bash okay so would you like to create it yes I want to okay and it's done okay let's move to step number four we have completed step till step number three if you have uh, successfully created a project implemented the UI so we are on the same page okay step number four which says that we need to uh, install the package that is related to reCAPTCHA version 3 so I'm just going to copy this command right here and let's move to git bash and paste it here okay just like that so yeah uh, while it is uh, uh, executing uh, like while we are installing the uh, reCAPTCHA version 3 package using git bash let's move forward to step number five because it is going to take a second okay so yeah step number five which says that we need to uh, add reCAPTCHA side key and secret to our env file so i'm just going to copy this copy let's move to sublime env at the bottom right here I'm going to paste it just like that. So I have put a note right here that we need a side key right here. Okay. And the secret right here. Okay. So how can you get the side key and secret for uh, reCAPTCHA? Let's move to step number six. Okay. So first of all, we need to get the uh, Google reCAPTCHA side key uh, by accessing the link right here, which is mentioned right here. Okay. Just copy that. Let's move to Google. Uh, sorry, Google <laughs> and paste it right here. Okay, so first of all, if you are not logged into your Google account, you need to log in. Okay, after that, you need to create a site. You need to create a label right here. In my case, I already have a site, but I'm just showing you as a demo. So all about Laravel, for example. Okay, and in uh, in this uh, case, we are going to use uh, reCAPTCHA version 3. Then you need to uh, define the domain right here. In our case, we are using localhost. So we need to define it like this okay and we can't put just localhost right here like that okay it is not going to accept it okay and we don't need to put http like this or https sorry okay so it is not going to accept it all we need to do is let's say in local for localhost case 127.0.0.1 you don't even need to define the port okay and let's say if you are in a live environment all you need to do is let's say domain and that's it okay 
yeah so after that you need to accept the uh, terms and condition related to reCAPTCHA and then submit after submitting this form by, by creating a site you will be redirected to a new page where you will be able to see your uh, reCAPTCHA site key and site secret okay so i already have a site i have already told you how to submit the form once you are done you will be able to see your site key and let's say site secret after that in my case i already have a project so let's move there so i'm going to access uh, the version 3 admin console okay and right here you can see my site this is my site okay uh, of uh, using which I was uh, testing the project as well to let's say hit the request etc. Okay, so right here you will see the data but just keep that in mind it is not going to show you data just like that with a click no where I have research on this uh, particularly so uh, the point is let's say if you are going to implement this for the first time it may take three to four days to appear uh, uh, to see the analytics on your dashboard okay so just keep that in mind it will take some time okay okay so right here let's say uh, if you reach right here your dashboard page and you want to see uh, site secret and site key and you are saying let's say you are not able to let's say copy it from the previous page so you can simply go to the settings right here okay now you can verify the settings with me here on this page is taking time okay done so right here you can see the label okay uh, you don't need to put dot com right here okay version 3 right here and domain and exception of the agreement etc so right here if i click on this button i will be able to see my recapture site key and secret i'm not going to do this in this case so that i don't have to because i don't want to edit the video that's why okay i want to save some time because i know you guys are waiting always for the video yeah so that's the reason okay so i'm just going to click here i'm going to get the site key and site secret and i'm going to put it uh, right here on this subline okay so i'm just going to pause the video for seconds so that uh, i don't have to add it once again okay okay guys so i have copied my site key and secret and i have put that into my env file right here that's why it is closed so that i don't have to add it once again okay guys yeah let's move forward Okay, now we have our site key and site secret. Okay, but for now, I need to uh, show you something. But for that, let's say before that, let's move to step number six, which uh, says that we need to publish the config. This uh, step is optional. Okay, so just copy this and paste it right here. And now I want to run this project to show you that uh, it's simply authentication related to Laravel up till now. Okay, so PHP. I have the command I think no okay let's run our project php artisan serve port 88 okay let's move to google right here let's access our project okay let's move to register okay guys so you can see it's simply authentication and now from the next step we are going to implement reCAPTCHA uh, which would be something like this let me show you like this okay so recapture what is the difference between version 2 and version 3 i will tell you just a minute okay let's move forward step number eight which says that we need to include uh in it recapture javascript and it is recommended uh by the package owner right here you can see i have copied everything from right here so but in just in my case it's uh very simple and you don't need to see some extra lines etc so that's why i'm doing that okay but it is recommended that you uh, you copy uh, or you use recapture version 3 on each of your page of the website okay so uh what you need to do uh, for that in that case let's say if you want to use that uh, use recapture on each and every page of your website you need to include it in the header and footer which is recommended okay if you want to use it on or let's say whole of the website yeah so yeah guys that's it so let's copy this in our case we only have the auth authentication uh, from laravel so i'm just going to use it right there okay so let's move to sublime and resources views layout app so login register home blade after logging in everyone is using this layout so i'm just going to copy it right here just before the head okay and save it okay now let me show you the result of this let's move here and right here you can see so it, it is successfully working i will tell you why okay uh, i will uh, we will discuss uh, how is it different as well okay so it's here now
Let's move forward. Now I need to update my button because on this register button, I want to implement this uh, and uh, I want to hit the Google recapture request and scope count the score of the let's say request okay so i'm just going to copy this step number nine okay let's move to register blade where i want to implement this so register blade let's move down but before that i want to show you something okay let me show you inspection inspection okay and i just want to show you that this right here register is a uh, let's say is a normal button See, it's just a normal button. Now, let's see what happens, okay? So let's move down on the register button. Let's get some extra space right here. I'm going to paste it. Let's align our code, okay? And in this case, I don't want to use this button. Instead, I am going to use this input field right here. So I'm just going to cut the class from here and paste it here, okay? Let's remove this button just like that, okay? Let's save it, okay? So yeah it's done yeah okay now let me show you this button again input field sorry okay right here you can see we have a hidden field uh, in which we have some secret keys and etc google is going to handle uh, it using this right here so whenever you refresh this page this is going to get changed uh, like it is going to get reloaded and let's discuss the difference between the uh, recapture version 2 and version 3 so the biggest difference between uh, recapture version 3 is you don't need any user interference for example in version 2 let's say if you want to verify a human let's say if it's not a robot what you need to do is user must interact with the ui for example uh, click or tick on the checkbox and after that you need to select uh, specific images let's say for example car etc and that is irritating uh, i know uh, because we we as a user if we go and we need to do it again and again it's quite frustrating so that's why google has came up with this idea recapture version 3 where we don't need to uh, where we don't need user interaction and it is going to handle it on its own on the back end you don't need to do anything okay so yeah guys so that was the basic difference that i just wanted to discuss okay and let's move forward okay so for the validation you can simply follow this step number 10 okay let's move to sublime and let's access register controller okay let's move down in the validator part right here i'm just going to paste it you can uh, if you want to you can assign a custom message as well it's totally up to you so it is required google is going to put it on its own let's say if you if you just refresh it right here okay you don't need to do anything as simple as that right here okay so yeah so required recapture version 3 and the default value is 0 0.5 so uh, as i told you we are going to see this in example in the later part google is going to uh, validate the request if it's a human or a robot and it is going to give it a score so the default score is let's say 0 0.5 and let's say if the score is less than 0 0.5 you can put a condition you can stop the user from registering or something like that okay we we will see that so i'm just going to save this for now okay let's move and it's time to test so now we can simply create a user so let's do that and first of all i'm going to uh, restrict that uh, this password to minimum three because i'm going to create this uh, three or four times so yeah so let's create a user default user okay just like that register So you can see we are logged in. Now let's access our database. Just wanted to show you the user. Okay, so recapture one, this one. Okay, users. And right here you can see the user. Okay, so it's working fine. Now let's log out. Now let's uh, put a specific condition. Let's say if you want to get the score and let's say if you want to uh, put some, let's say tough validation, you can do that. Okay. So for that, for logical example, you can simply use this. So I'm just going to um, uh, import the facade in facades in the register controller. So right here, paste it and let's copy this. Okay. Now let's create a condition, a basic condition. I'm just going to get the score for you guys. Later on, you can play with it, dig deep and play around it okay so first of all guys let me just paste it right here okay 
and let's put a semi semicolon right here okay now in this case uh, if you see we are uh, getting the score based on request but in our case we uh, we have the dollar data array okay so we need to update this i just want to show you so that we are on the same page so that everyone knows that yeah it it is a let's say array so dd dollar data just like that and now let's do this again register okay and let's i'm because i'm not going to create a user it is going to stop right here so i can simply put the same user email register okay so dd right here you can see the captcha right here password etc okay now uh, i need to get this field g recapture response so yeah i can simply do that let me show you let's remove the comments and let's remove everything till here data okay the key and right here just like that okay so it's done now let's get the score td dollar score okay register i need to do it again so yeah register and now uh, i think i made a mistake somewhere dd score Verified data, recapture, register, version 3. I think I made a mistake somewhere. Dollar data, recapture. Let me just debug it right here. Okay, guys, so I didn't find any, let's say, problem right here. I'm just going to do it again. I just did it and it was working fine. So let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can see the same code. Okay, so register. Okay, so right here you can see my score is 0 0.9. Okay, uh, but if I refresh it again, so maybe I uh, I did uh, refresh twice. So that's why I was getting the false value right here. Okay, so maybe that was the case. Okay, because there is no issue right here. So we are able to get the score. I will show you once again. Let's do it quickly. Okay, and let's create for example. Okay, so it is going to score me 0 0.9. Okay, guys, so it's working. Now you can, based on this number, you can simply put your condition. For example, I'm not going to go in that detail, but I just want to show you how can you build your logic. So if dollar score, let's say if you want to restrict our user. So if score is greater than 0 0.5, okay, proceed to, let's say, login page. Okay, uh, let's say proceed. Perfect. And proceed. And let's say if it's not, you can put else if, else if dollar score, score is let's say less than 0 0.5, you need to do something else or let's say 0 0.4. Uh, so you can build your condition based on this logic as well. You can get the status, but for that you need to dig deep into let's say Google recapture version 3 documentation and right here. Uh, the package itself okay so yeah guys it's working perfectly fine as you can see uh, it's right here okay and it's working perfectly fine we are not able to see any error and yeah regarding this part the analytics part as as i told you before uh, it may take some time okay so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care